This is Dr. Peter with the Phenomenal Minute. Sometimes people say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Meaning, well, I'm feeling good. Why should I get adjusted? There's a huge difference between mechanical things and living things. Mechanical things, it might be true. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. At the same time, shouldn't you keep a car tuned up before it starts running bad? And shouldn't you take care of little things in your office, like if the faucet is dripping before it becomes a major problem? Or dealing with uh, water in the basement because of a crack in the wall before it becomes a major issue? You know, I guess a part of that phrase def depends on how you define broken. But particularly regarding living things, there's a difference between fixing something that's broken, which we call pathogenic care, which is much of what we call healthcare is taking care of problems, versus trying to make things be as fine-tuned and working as best as possible. Wouldn't you want to make sure that your instrument is tuned as best as possible so they can play the best possible music? Wouldn't you want to make sure that the weeds are out of your garden so that the plants can grow as best as possible? The body is this incredibly well-functioning, not machine, but living, breathing organism that can be extremely well-tuned when it's a nervous system free of interference. It can be a beautiful blossoming garden when the weeds are taken away by ensuring the spine is free of spinal subluxations, the interfere, worst interference that can be there in the nervous system that robs us not just from our health, but from being as healthy and as strong as possible. It's Dr. Peter, phenomenal minute.